Hey guys, what's up? This is quite the way to come back after being gone for almost two months. I <laughs> Hey guys, what's up? My name's Deja. If you're new, welcome, and if you're returning, you're loyal. <laughs> I've been gone for the past two months. I've just been chilling, doing my own thing. Um, but I'm back, and hopefully it's for good. Ever since I started my YouTube channel, people have really wanted me to do a Get Ready With Me. So that's what I'm doing for today, because I figured it's perfect. It's July 6, 2018. I have a concert today. You're probably wondering, what concert is that? Girl, I'm gonna go see GOT7 at the forum today. I'm internally screaming, but you know what? It's fine. So I'm getting ready for that because I want Jackson to be able to see me from section G, which is where I will reside. I want my highlight to be so just blinding that he has no choice but to look my way and be like, yo, that's my girl. I'll be like, heck yeah, I am. So if you're excited, then give this video a thumbs up. Because, yeah. <laughs> Before we get on down to this video, don't forget to give this a big thumbs up. That helps me out so much, you guys. Also, don't forget to subscribe for brand new videos every single week. Also, click that bell so you don't miss out whenever I post. And if you want to follow me on all of my social media, they'll all be linked down below. Okay, let's get started. This is weird doing my makeup on camera. Are you kidding? Oh, okay. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my e.l.f. face primer, the little the. <laughs> So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take my e.l.f. face primer and I'm just going to put that all over. I don't need to look because I know how to how this goes. And this just may look like a lot, but I promise it's not. So now I'm also going to go in with my Glam Glow Glow Starter Mega Illuminating Moisturizer. It has like sparkles and stuff in it, so it looks really cool. I'm just going to use my fingers and just blend that out. You guys are like front row seat to the Deja experience, seeing me beat my face me and my natural habitat this is a privilege not very many people get to experience this oh yeah love that next up is something that i actually picked up from my best friend i'm going to take my cody airspun loose face powder and i'm going to put it on on top of my primer and you're probably wondering deja why the hell are you baking before you put on your foundation i got this trick from my best friend where if you put powder on and then your foundation it won't crease as much and your face will look flawless so sister guess what i'm doing this is where i look crazy so please fair warning i'm gonna look insane so i'm gonna take these latex free beauty sponges and I'm just gonna tap off some of the excess and put it under my eyes. Like the one thing that you don't want to put too much, you just want to put like a thin layer. I have no many moi, you guys. Like I said before, I'm no makeup artist. I just found tricks, tips and tricks that work for me. I've been just chilling. <laughs> Last month, I went to Warp Tour, which was so much freaking fun. I went to not only support Chase Atlantic because those are my dudes, you already know. Echo Smith, Issues, We The Kings, 303. Um, did I say Don Bracco? I think I said Don Bracco, but Don Bracco, who is like this band from England that I've been waiting to see in the US for some time. Um, who else performed? Black Bell Brides, but I couldn't stay to see them, so I'm like really upset. But you know what, it's, it's fine. At least I can say I was there. The Warp Tour was so much fun. I'm really proud of Chase and Lana for the way that they performed in like in that god awful heat. Okay. Okay, I'm not filming. It was a lot of fun. I had a really good time. It was extremely hot and guys I'm still like oops, I'm still sunburned from that. I don't know if you can see it, but like if you if I were to turn, you could still see my bra strap. That was two weeks ago. So as you can see I look like I belong to the Adams family, which we love that here. We love the Adams family in this house. And if you don't, there's something wrong with you. But yeah, this is my powder on before my foundation. My foundation is Fit Me by Maybelline and it's in the shade 355. It was 356, but for some reason, I can't find it anywhere. So you know what? I got 355. I think it looks the closest to my original match. But you know what? If it doesn't, I'm just at a point where I just I don't care. So. <laughs> what am I kidding? I do care. I don't look like the Grim Reaper. Are you kidding me? Again, I look crazy like I am in a tribe. I hope that's not racist. What am I saying? What? Okay. And now, I'm taking my beauty sponge and I am going to blend this out. 
But yeah, World Tour was so much fun. I was so hot the entire time. I, I don't know who came up with the idea that if you're black, you don't need sunscreen because whatever it was, I want to fight. Because <laughs> I thoroughly believed that for so long that because I'm black, I don't need sunscreen. But hey, skin cancer does not discriminate unlike the rest of America. <laughs> too real sorry <laughs> but yeah I got burned pretty bad and I've never gotten burned before but I was out in that Sun all since 9 o'clock in the morning let me actually tell you what happened I like first and foremost I was up at 2 a.m. 2 a.m. and my crazy ass went to sleep at 11 so I got about two hours of sleep but I was still up and ready to go I was excited I was ecstatic I was just going through the motions it was an experience I've never gotten up that early for anything before and I had to take the bus all the way there so like n me I like to get up like super early to make sure I get to places on time because I hate I hate being late to things and I hate keeping people waiting so I really like to make sure that I'm at least an hour early to where I gotta be and yeah I was up at 2 a.m. I took the bus um, around 4. Well, I tried. I got to the bus stop at the time I was supposed to be there, and while we were still walking, <laughs> it pulled up. And I was like, <laughs> love that for me. I took the bus to Montebello to meet my friends, and we all drove together to Warp Tour from there. And one of my friends is actually uh, a photographer for Warp Tour, which I'm like really, really proud of her. Like, she did an amazing, amazing job. I know it's taking me a while, but I like to blend out my foundation, unlike some people who just slap it on and go. But yeah, we got to Warp Tour. I brought some canned goods. I got some cream corn and tuna because if you, anybody going to Warp Tour, if you donate um, three canned goods, you can get in early. Just in case you didn't know. We went to the Journey's tent, and I think all summer long they have a tent. Um, where you can go and get mean group passes for state champs, um, this other group, and Chase Atlantic. And we went in and we went to that tent just to get um, wristbands in the event that we couldn't see the boys later. But in hindsight, if I had known like what the day had ahead of us, we definitely didn't need those. But it was better to be safe than sorry. There was this band called In Loving Memory that was like promoting their album. Well, their front man was. And I actually really liked them. He's really cool. Really cool people. So if you guys um meet Naveed I think his name Naveed outside of Warp Tour definitely talk to him he's really cool I have been really thinking about what I want to do with my channel for one I'm gonna stop doing the beats of videos like beats of January and February because I feel like I don't know kind of feel like I had to force those that being said I will tell you music that I have liked these past couple of months that I've been away. First and foremost, y'all, can we talk about Youngblood? <laughs> you would think that after two whole years, Five Sauce would be like, you know what, Ashton? You have a great voice, bro. Let's give you a solo song. But alas, <laughs> that didn't happen. But you know what? It's, it's fine. I see you, Ashton. I see you. Okay? I always have. Youngblood has been played so much since it came out and I just I like am obsessed with that album it's so good there's so much growth um I remember hearing young blood and want you back for the first time and like first listen I could hear so many different influences from like the 80s and early 90s and I just love their growth and like the direction they're taking the album was superb oh shiny all of their little mini albums oh so good they are so good I applaud them for coming back strong you know after Junhyun I really do commend them and you know I think that they're they're killing it my favorite song that they've released so far I think would have to be I want you and good evening I can't listen to our page without crying <laughs> love that for me but I'm really proud of shiny they're really doing amazing and if you haven't heard it so next I'm about to take my Nika K dark chocolate cream to powder pressed mineral foundation and I use this as a contour. I am doing a lot of different things in my life. Well, trying to. First and foremost, I want to do YouTube full time. I want that to be my career choice because I like entertaining people. I like making people laugh and like that's just my calling. I know it is. Ever since I was a kid I've always wanted to entertain and I've always liked to make people laugh make people feel good about themselves because that just makes me feel good YouTube is definitely something that I see 
myself doing for a long time. Now I'm going to take this eyeshadow palette I just got. It's the Profusion Cosmetics Natural Eyeshadow Palette and it has 24 shades. It is so cute and I got this from Target for $9, guys. So now your girl's going to put on some Love Struck Glam Glow Powder Blush in Pudding Pop. And it's like this pretty, like, warm pink color. I'm going to put that on my cheeks. So now your girl's going to put on eyeliner, and this is the most stressful part. So just bear with me, guys. This is going to be an experience. <laughs> so this is the NYX um, Ink Liner, I think it is. It's my favorite eyeliner for sure. And I'm just going to do a nice little wing. Thank God that came out great. Thank the Lord above. I'm sorry if I'm not talking so much. It's like when it comes to my makeup, I like to concentrate so I don't mess up. This is the one that stresses me out, but you know what we're gonna do it, we're gonna do it. Are they uneven? Oh hell yeah, they're uneven. I'm upset now. You know what, we're just gonna... <laughs> yes, I'm filming. Huh? I'm filming. What's up? How are you feeling when you cover your face? This part's always so freaking hard. Okay. Okay, I got it. Uh, Deja's world. Okay, you people. Okay. This is my brother, guys. Your head is bigger than it looks. I can, I can promise you that. It's not. I don't know what he's talking about, but I'm right. Okay. Pretty baby. Hi. I must go pick up some weed. So make sure. <laughs> make sure. Uh, but you listen out for my little girl. Okay. We love someone who's honest about what they're doing. Alright. So there's my eyeliner, guys. If it doesn't look the same, I don't care at this point. I'm going to go in with my favorite mascara right now, which is the Benefit Bang Bad Gal Mascara. I'm actually running low and it's getting a little dry, but I need to get another one because this mascara is too good to be true. I really, really love it. I could literally fly away from my haters. That's me flying away. Look at this eye and look at this one. I don't even know if you can tell, but... We love flying away from our haters here. I have a lot of new video ideas that I can't wait to show you guys. Like, this channel is going to be flourishing. I'm going to speak it into existence. Speaking of speaking things into existence, um, I thoroughly believe that. Like, the things that you say into the atmosphere, the universe will work in its favor to make those things happen, whether it be good or bad. Like you saying, oh, this day's gonna suck, or like, oh, I'm not excited for this. Like the universe will act in favor of what you're saying to make that a reality. So I believe that you saying positive things, positive affirmations into the atmosphere really does change everything. And I'm trying to do that more. <laughs> but yeah, um, I believe that saying positive things into the atmosphere really does um, change things and the universe does act in favor of what you put out there so if I say I'm going to be very successful and my YouTube channel is going to flourish then I will do everything in my power to make that happen and also I believe that the universe will do its thing and make it so that can happen if you hear crying in the back that's my niece I'm an aunt now by the way her name is Danielle her father Michael who you just saw is an absolute psychopath and I really hope that when she's old enough to watch Harry Potter that she runs away because I don't want her to be a dork like her father. Or Lord of the Rings or Star Trek or Star Wars. I just... <laughs> so now's the next part, which is a part that I may have to do off camera. I'm going to do my brows. This is the most expensive thing in my makeup bag and it's my Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow Pomade in Ebony. It's my favorite dip um, brow pomade right now. It's so amazing. It's so creamy and it's so easy to use. And the reason why I have to do this off camera is because one brow never looks as good as the other one. Like they're sisters, not twins. And by sisters, I mean one of them is the hottest, most popular girl in school. The other one is not. <laughs> okay, here goes nothing. Oh my Jesus. Is it working? Is it working? Is it working in my favor? It's working in my favor. This is a rarity. Wow, my brows are actually cooperating. Like, this is usually like my worst side. Oh, I spoke too soon. Love that for me. By the way, the way I do my brows, I start from the middle and work my way back. And I don't really like to put it up here because it'll look like boxy. And I already have problems with my brows looking like upside down Nike signs. 
eyebrow one, done. Love life, let's talk about that. <laughs> what's there to talk about, it's non-existent. <laughs> I love dragging myself on my channel, it's always fun. The brows are done, guys. Do we love them, do we live for them? Um, ooh, I just thought of another um, song that I was into a lot. Uh, Sinner by Def Havana, which is a band that I got into last year. Remember I did a review about them, All These Countless Nights? Such a good album, but I've been waiting for new songs and stuff from them since I heard All These Countless Nights. And Sinner definitely gave me everything I wanted and more. And then the video came out while I was at a job interview yesterday and I had to wait to watch it. I was like, oh my god, I can't. If for some weird reason Death of Anna happened to like stumble upon my channel, hi, I'm Deja, come to LA. If I had the money, I would fly to the UK to see you live. But I don't, not yet. See, positive affirmations. Um, not that. Next, I'm going to go in with my Wet n Wild uh, highlighting powder in Precious Petals. And I actually got put onto this by my best friend. Hi, Nyla. I got put onto this because I always ask her what highlight she uses. And she told me it was this one. I always thought it was like a high-end brand, but it's actually Wet n Wild. I'm, I've been sleeping on Wet n Wild. So I'm going to put on this highlight. So let's, let's just do this, okay? So... And so we're gonna blend it and we're not just gonna put it on our face and leave it as a streak that's the one thing i hate is when people like highlight and they just like put a streak on their face and they don't even blend it it's like sis did lightning strike you in your face are you not gonna blend that out i hate that like that's one of my biggest makeup pet peeves i swear to god it just drives me bonkers why is my phone just going off today i'm not that popular i already know that not yet positive affirmations now i'm going to take my pinky take down the bridge of my nose and tip my nose and just do that i take the side of my brush and i kind of blend it i love being the center of attention my nose highlight can stop traffic la traffic which is a rarity so despite all of the camera issues that we will not talk about today um, I finished getting ready. I put my hair up in like this half up half down situation. I put on some hoop earrings and I have this really cute army green dress that I got from Forever 21 actually two days ago. And I have my favorite black denim jacket that I got from Q. But yeah, this is my look for tonight. I'm really excited. Um, I will try my best to like film something because I really like to have videos and pictures of, you know, things I'm excited about. So I will really try and film and show you guys. Um, but yeah, that's it for today's video. That was my first get ready with me. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, if you did, please make sure to give this video a big thumbs up. That helps me out so much and I'll maybe do it more in the future. Don't forget to subscribe for brand new videos. Every single week I will try my best to put out at least one video a week. I want to be consistent again like I used to be. I want to be consistent and I want to grow my channel and, you know, meet new people. And I just believe in this so much. So for those of you who also believe in me and stuck around for so long, thank you it really does mean a lot um until i see you guys again next time i'll catch you on the flip side it feels good to say that <laughs>